What's up everybody, Crow here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we have a very special day going on. I am taking delivery of a 718 Porsche Cayman GT4. I am honestly extremely excited, very anxious. My brother's upstairs screaming of excitement as well. I could barely sleep last night. This was my dream car for a very long time. I always loved the GT4s. And just recently, I was in the position where I was able to find the exact same spec I wanted. So I went and go ahead and place an order from Arizona. So right now we're waiting on a trucker to deliver the GT4. So I wanna go ahead and just share you guys the experience, the unloading experience. I am just ecstatic right now. I can't believe it and I'm very excited to be able to add this vehicle to my collection. The Z06 is not going anywhere. That car is staying, so I will be making more content. Don't worry about that. We are gonna add more content as well onto this car. Big shout out to Auto Junction Inc. in Arizona for working with me, very easy experience and uh, delivering the vehicle out here in California. Honestly, this was probably one of the easiest car purchases I have been through. Um, everything was just digital, everything was online. And it was really nice because they took their time to answer all my questions. They did a FaceTime video. They gave me 4K video resolutions of every angle of the car. So these guys really will work with high-end exotics and anything you're looking for, check out their inventory. You excited? Hell yeah. This Dude. guy's this guy's more juice than anything. I think I only slept like two hours last night. <laughs> Why'd you sleep so late or how'd you wake Just up? Working so on some projects. Oh nice. Hey. Yeah, I didn't even brush my teeth or took a shower. We gonna we out. The moment this guy woke up, he was like GT4? I can't even speak English right now. I'll show you guys a trick. If you're in a hurry and you don't have time, this is the holy grail. Call the hat. Look at my hair. It's hella messy, right? Get out now. Damn! It's like, it's like you, just, you, you, you just took a shower. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the Z06 real quick. I did take it to Able Chevrolet. Uh, basically, the windshield motor blew out, so none of the water was able to like shoot out and clean the windshield. So they changed that along with the engine coolant. So if you guys are in the area, check out Able Chevrolet. They do really good work. Very cool um, team out there. So right now, we're gonna take my brother's Tesla. I really hope that when we, the delivery driver doesn't get here when we're all the way enabled. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, I'll tell you, like, Dotto, you gotta speed home. I'll call it police escort. <laughs> <laughs> they can't catch me. Right. This is my brother's Model 3. Had it for a while. How do you like it? It's not bad um, for what it is, but for the price, mm, probably better getting off something else. Yeah, I feel it. So the backstory of the GT4 and why I really love that car, it very much reminded me of my 370Z Nismo I had. I owned that car for a few years. It was beautiful. It really gave me a true driver's car feel. Unfortunately, I tuned it too much to the point where the engine was starting to give out. It was losing horsepower. Three different Nissan mechanics and my Indy mechanic couldn't fix it. It was just starting to literally like fall apart. So I had to sell it, pretty much dumped it at CarMax. And then after that, I owned a Mark V Supra 3.0. That was a really good car too. But unfortunately, my, with my luck, something always breaks or something always goes wrong. The Supra started burning so much oil, I had to put a quart of oil every thousand miles. So from the factory, the car was just burning a lot of oil. I didn't want to deal with the headache. And then I ended up selling that car to get the plaid. Then the plaid was bad, so I'm hoping this GT4 is finally a good car. All right, we're here at Able Chevrolet. There's my baby. She's looking nice and clean. I'll meet you at the house. We out. All right, let's go. She's all good to go. Damn, I haven't had her in two days. I already miss being back in here. All right guys, we're back home. I legit thought that was the delivery truck, but it's not. So my heart dropped as I was pulling up. You know, even after three years of owning the Z06, this car puts a smile on my face, makes me happy every single day. A lot of people sleep on a C7s. Everyone wants a C8, but to be honest, you cannot go wrong with a C7Z, especially with the short shifter. All right, now that we're back, me and Dalo are chilling outside, waiting for the truck driver to arrive. Cheers. 
It's almost three o'clock. He's still not here. We're anticipating probably another hour or two. Hopefully it arrives. Hopefully it doesn't come out like 11, 59, 59 p.m. Cause that would suck ass. Oh, hell no. <laughs> All right, we're just taking one celebratory shot before the vehicle arrives. Cheers, my brother. I love you. Cheers, I love you too, man. All right, guys, the car came. <laughs> nah, I wish, unfortunately. All right, we just got word. It's 10.47 right now. Finally. Finally, it's so late. He arrived. Hey. Oh, God. There he is. Woo. Steps. Wow, guys, it is beautiful. Oh, oh my that god. god. Wow. He's been waiting all day for it. This is insane. This is in. Ah! This is insane. I'm like, holy shit. That's, that's, that's my car. Dude. Hey, we gotta jump right. <laughs> I wanna hear I wanna hear the cold start. I know me too. You guys, there's gonna be so much content on here. Our, our neighbors were like, what the hell is going on right now? Where's the Tito's bottle? <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. It's finally in the garage now. I'm really excited. You see that smoke? <laughs> dude, this is this is insane. So here it is, guys. It is beautiful. Carbon buckets, red seat belts, Alcantara, carbon fiber package. This thing is immaculate. So this is exactly how I wanted to spec my car. Uh, white exterior with the silver wheels. I did not get the carbon ceramics. I prefer the steel brakes. Just because when it's time to replace them, it's a lot cheaper. Bucket seats, smokers package, it has everything in it. Pretty much what I'm gonna use. Um, originally, I was gonna settle for a 981 GT4, a 2016 year, but it didn't have Apple CarPlay, nor did it have a backup camera, which isn't a deal breaker, but with the 4.0 engine, I really like the way this has more torque and more linear power on the power band, so when I test drove this car, I knew this is the one I had to get. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. I am extremely exhausted. I am ready to go to bed. Stick around for the next video or two. I'm gonna be explaining more about the GT4, the capabilities it has, uh, my thoughts, the things I love about it. And also, there will be more Z06 content. I'm gonna make more videos on the Corvette as well. So don't think just because I got a GT4, I'm not gonna make any more Corvette videos. That is not the case. I have a lot of content coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.